Hey, Dylan. Sensei Gould here, and uh, it's been a while since I've been up here at the front of the dojo uh, to give an informal talk to uh, my students and our audience about the aspects of the martial arts and our training in our dojo. Uh, my intention with these tokonoma side chats is just to come up and tell a quick story about the dojo that's relevant to our training. And as it's mid-September now, we're approaching the 21st, which is the International Day of Peace as recognized by the United Nations. Uh, and this year, we're engaging in a year-long peace education project and learning project uh, that has to deal with the subject of compassion. So a lot of people uh, have seen the stuff that we've got lying around here at the dojo, uh, and all of them have a story behind them. And today, I wanted to show you this. This right here is Daozhu, the calligraphy for compassion. And I was able to acquire this as a result of an introduction that my friend Sean Rafferty gave me to Master Heidi Ochai. Uh, Master Ochai is the founder of Washinru Karate, and he uh, runs his dojo in upstate New York. And Master Ochai is not only a premier martial artist of remarkable skill, he's also a master calligrapher. And several years back, Master Ochai uh, was selling commissioned uh, calligraphies to raise money for his charitable organization. So through the introduction of my friend, I was able to request of Master Ochai that he uh, pen the calligraphy for compassion. So to hear my friend Sean tell the tale, uh, Master Ochai was so pleased to do the kanji for compassion that he also included a second one for me for free. So here is compassion as it uh, is sitting outside my office. And the second calligraphy that Master Ochai uh, included was a gift to me, and that was this one here. And this is the calligraphy for respect. So I talk all the time, just as my sensei Richie uh, has told me all the time, that our first two martial virtues are respect and compassion. And I was able to uh, proudly display these two calligraphies by a master martial artist and master calligrapher outside our dojo. So every time we line up and we see those calligraphy on the wall, we should be reminded that while we're going to train in the dojo and learn how to punch and kick and hit and ostensibly harm other people, that the root of our art is really about compassion and how to help other people through the profession of our character through respect for other people, and for our ability to empathize with other people's situations. So, a neat little story I wanted to share. There'll be more uh, Tokonoma side chats coming. I hope you enjoyed this one.